I love my little baby hairs because they remind me of when I was a little baby. Not that I remember actually, I don't remember anything at all. Does anyone? A little baby image and walking around, cute. Little butterfly, baby butterfly. Not that cute and I don't know why I'm doing that. Hello honeys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now then, <gasps> We have got, actually I'm not going to get the box up yet, I will show you the box in the moment. You don't even understand how big this haul is, like I can't even explain it to you, it's so exciting. And if you are new to my channel then my name's Imogen and I like to apparently rinse my bank balance. P.S. Before we start this video, Dad, look away now. Look away now Dad, because you are not going to like what you're about to see. My Dad's going to be like, why did you spend that much money Imogen? And I'm going to be like, it's an investment Dad. <laughs> but let's get on with this. You can't even see me. Look at this. Oh my good lord. Yes, there is a cookie in there, by the way. Can you see that? There's a cookie in there because I've been eating it. We've got a massive beauty bay haul today. I spent £300 because I was like, I wanted to show my huns this. I want to buy that because then I can show my huns this. I mean, I'm blaming you, but it's definitely none of your fault. I promise. It's me. It's me. It's okay, isn't it? I'll stop talking about it, Imogen. You spent it now. You're not sending it back because it's makeup. So let's get on with the beauty bay haul. I have palettes. I have skincare. I have lip stuff. I have face stuff. I have eyelashes. I have no money. <laughs> First product is the Mario Badesco Skincare Rolling Cream Peel with AHA. This one is £15. Tried this this morning. Love my life. Do you know how cool this is? So what you do is, you put it into the palm of your hands, you take the tiniest bit, massage it gently into your skin. And then when you start massaging it, what happens is, it goes into like a little cream roll, roll cream peel. And when the rolls go like that, that's all of your impurities and dead skin with the mask. Honestly, I swear, this is sick. This is so cool. I wasn't even looking for skincare. I was scrolling through Beauty Bay and you know me, love Mario Badesco. So this isn't one that's gonna tighten your skin. This one is gonna leave your skin feeling so smooth and get rid of any impurities and you literally have like this clear complexion. What I did was when it goes into the little cream rolls, really cute little cream rolls, I then just take a cotton pad with any toner. I did actually use Mario Badesco one and I just go over it like that. I use the glycolic acid one and just go over it like that and it takes it off and you literally see like dirt. Even though I woke up this morning, I thought I took my makeup off, apparently not. But that's my impurities, isn't it? It's not actually makeup, it's impurities. So top tip, says it on the website here. Oi. Exfoliating treatment for hands and skin. No, not skin, feet. All right then. I actually really like this, it's sick. It's not got any smell on it. Got peach extracts, lactic acid, vitamin E and shea butter. Oh, for that amazing complexion. We'll take that one. We already did. Okay, so the next one is this one, and this is the Mario Badesco Enzyme Cleansing Gel. So I've got a lot of cleansers that go foamy. I thought I'd try a gel formula, see what it says. So if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I was literally asking everyone for a good eye makeup remover, because sometimes it just doesn't come off, and you know sometimes you get it under there, and I'm like, and I don't really want to scrub too much because it's so sensitive underneath my eyes. I get really irritated if I keep rubbing and rubbing. This is this gel formula that you put over your skin. Wet your skin before, or you don't have to wet your skin before, you can do it dry. And you just rub it like that. I let it set for a bit and then I wash it off or I use a muslin cloth, a baby cloth. The baby section in boots, so soft on your skin. If babies use them, we can use them because we're all still babies with our baby hair. <laughs> I take it off like that with warm water and honestly, this one's suitable for all skin types as well, so we love this one. And I just like the fact it's a gel, it doesn't foam, it doesn't go everywhere. You know sometimes when you get those foamy ones, it's going all up into your hair. This one, you know exactly where you're patting it and putting it, and then it just comes off and honestly it removes all of my makeup. Oh. Yeah, it smells fresh. That's exactly how I can explain it. It smells fresh. And after we use that a bit, we gonna look fresh. Do you know what I mean? So let's start with face. We'll just build it around. So what we'd use for our face, then we'll go to, yeah, 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 I got it. I got it. So I got this and I've tried it on today. I just spat everywhere, well done. Apparently it's not raining enough outside. I just wanna make the whole bed wet and everything. So I used this on my face today. However, I made a mistake. I got the shade natural. It's a tiny bit too light, but also a little bit red and I'm yellow tone skin, yellow skin tone. Well done. So basically what I did was I mixed this with my Maybelline Fit Me, which is in the shade 220 and that's yellowy. Love this coverage. If I'm going on a night out, I like to look beat. A lot of the time, you know me, Huns, I like to look dewy. I think that's one of my favourite words. Dewiness. This is just beautiful. Like, you can build it up. It's so lightweight. It feels like you're not wearing foundation. You know those foundations where you still feel like you can just see them around your nose area? You're setting it and you're like, it's still there. You know when it sort of doesn't move? This one I feel like just glides onto your skin. I'll let you know down below how long it wears for. I have used a setting spray. I use the Naked Heat one. I'm obsessed with that. Naked Heat? That's the palette. The all-night setting spray. That one from Naked. It's amazing. It's £11. 
and for a foundation like this I really rate it I'm hoping it lasts so I'll let you know down below but honestly this is so nice to wear on your skin it's light but it gives you good coverage not coverage where it's like you can't see anything below your skin I like my skin to still look like skin this gives me coverage but it doesn't make me look covered well done LA girl well done LA girl staying on the topic of LA girls I got these two LA girls I literally should talk like this shouldn't I okay so I got my LA girl pro conceal I got it the HD definition concealer and I got two shades I should start with the light one first shouldn't I I got this one in natural too and this is really light I don't know if you watched my makeup tutorial literally like three days ago but I use this to carve out my crease I love it I literally love it like I swear by it oh, I actually like talking like that though but I should stop talking like that but I love doing accents you know me I love doing accents and I like it because cutting your crease I'm not very good at it but it has an applicator on it so you can literally just go whoop Whoop, and then I drag it down the product and it comes out really light. You don't need too much of these These are five pound each which I think is really good for concealer. I'll holler at your girl about this one. Holler at your girl about this one I've used it today use it today. So I use this one to cut out my crease today and I use this one to give me a little cream contour because you know who uses this one? Carly by Bell. I love her. I think she has a heart that is pure as gold. Like I actually love her so much. She's amazing. I feel like with YouTube you can't really hide who you are. Whoever you are is going to come out. That's why I always say to you if you are starting a YouTube channel just be yourself because I would hate to watch a video six months ago and be like oh that wasn't me. Obviously when I started I wasn't exactly myself as much because I was a little bit nervous. You can't really hide who you are and you shouldn't have to hide who you are. Like whoever you are is beautiful. If you're shy be shy. If you're loud and over the top, be loud and over the top. That's just you. That's the amazing thing about YouTube. That's the amazing thing about the internet. There is going to be people out there that probably won't like you because not everyone you come into contact with likes you. I am, compared to Marmite, quite a lot of the time. People either like me or they don't like me. But you can't please everyone. People that are shy that are worrying about starting a YouTube channel, there are loads of people out there that are shy. They're going to watch you and be like, oh my god, she's done it. And I like watching her because she's shy like me. You know, there's always going to be someone that likes you. So, what was I talking about? Carly Bybell. Love her. I got this one in Toast. This one's £5. The LA Girl Pro Conceal. Should I speak an American accent. I wish you could say and tell me yes or no. I'm going to do it a little bit. So I got this one in toast because Carly Bybell said on her YouTube, she's literally used this for like three years, I think, and she does her nose contour with it because obviously it's got such an easy applicator. Do you know what I mean? So I used it today. Oh my God, Hums, I can't even explain it to you. You need the tiniest bit. You need the tiniest bit. I literally went like this and dragged a whole line down, blending out, and I was like, or is it blending to? You know when you feel like, where is it actually gonna go? Top tip from Mimo's mistakes here. I would literally just go like that. Swipe, and that's all you need. I mean, less is more. So let's start with less, and then you can build it up at least. Otherwise, you're going in with me like the full hog. You're like, whee! I really like these. They're so creamy, easy to blend. They're really cheap and they're really good. LA girl, holler at your girl. I actually think I have an obsession, Huns. I have a bottle of water here with my apple and elderflower squash, high juice from Marks and Spencers. I'm obsessed with Starbucks that much that when I don't have a Starbucks, I like to drink out of a Starbucks cup, even though it's not a Starbucks drink. I don't think that's normal, is it? It's definitely not normal, but then I'm not normal. Let's <laughs> be honest. Ha 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 ha. Every boy's the same since I've been in seventh grade. They've been trying to get with me, trying to ha 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 ha. I used to love that song. I just did a laugh and then that led me onto a song, I've got problems. Like, are you okay? Probably not. I love drinking out of a straw. Does anyone else? Like, doesn't it make you feel like when you were young again? I act like I'm really old. I'm definitely not. But you know what I mean? Like, it makes you feel like a baby again. I'm like, to always say to my mum and dad, please can I have a straw? They'd be like, yeah, but don't swirl the squash around in your mouth because it'll ruin your teeth because I used to sit there like that. And they used to be like, what are you doing? No, you're not in a store if you do that. <laughs> Next product, obviously everyone knows I love to glow and also wear my top up. That's what I do like to do, thank you. This is a glow. This is a glow. Shall I swatch it? I've got it on now so you can see that that is a glow. That is a glow. That is real. This is the Ofra. I should tell you what it is first, shouldn't I? This is the Ofra highlighter in Blissful. And this is Blissful. How do these beauty gurus do it? Like when they swatch so well. But look at it. It's literally just me going like that. Whoop. And then going whoop. It's un- no, I'm sorry, it's unreal. I'm just obsessed. I've got it here just chilling. £20 as well, which I don't think that bad because if you think about it, I've gone like that once and I've got all that product. Like, I literally use the tiniest bit and I think my highlight is popping. Like, I'm not going to lie to you, I think my highlight is popping. If you have got a little bit more to spend on a highlighter, spend it and it'll be worth it. I promise you. Like, I promise. If I go out with this highlighter on, people will probably think that I'm some sort of royal or something. I don't know. I'm joking. <laughs> Do the royal family even wear highlighter? Shut up, Imogen. Just stop. <laughs> that product leads me onto this. Now, I know you can't see it right now. I can't. I get so shoppy over this. By the way, I say shoppy instead of soppy. I love the word shoppy. It's my family word. Look at how small this is. It's a petite highlighter brush. I'm actually going to get really like, I can't. I'm obsessed with it. So cute. 
<gasps> I am that person, when I see anything small, anything package sweet, anything petite, I'm like, I need it. Someone's nine pounds, but let me tell you, I, I, I didn't actually put my brow bone highlight on because I wanted to do it with you, Hans. So let's dip the little baby in there. Zoeva 137, I haven't even got a mirror, so I'm acting like I can, I know what I'm doing. Let me get my phone up and I use the camera. You know why I got it as well, obviously, is it being cute, but you know sometimes I take my eyeshadow too high up. I like that look. Then I don't have any space for my brow bone highlight and I'm like, hmm. I carved out my eyebrows, but apparently I've just got it away with the eyeshadow. Look at it. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Go over the nose a little bit. I'm obsessed with you, because you're so cute, and I've got a little baby now. I'm going to be your mother. Stop talking to makeup brushes. I'm sorry, mum and dad. I'm such a weirdo. Look, it also comes in a little zip. He's probably going to come out of that for a while, isn't he? Let's be honest, he's not going to chill in there, because I'll be getting it out, putting it in my makeup bag, throwing it all over the shop, because you know what I'm like. I should do a what's in my makeup bag, shouldn't I? Because that would be a funny video. I'm selling you. Okay, the next product is the RCMA Translucent Powder. I have the RCMA No Colour Powder, and you know I'm obsessed with it. I get rid of Laura Mercier. Get rid of Laura to use the RCMA. This is life. I saw it on Beauty Bay and I was like, wait, what? I thought they only had the no colour powder. This one is £13. I use the no colour powder and I love it so much. When you're going on a night out, bake with that and your face will stay put. I'm obsessed with that powder. I think it's so cheap. It comes in such a big bottle. You get so much for your money. Like, it's insane. But sometimes I don't always want to bake and I don't really use that white powder sometimes because it can make my under eye look really bright and I love a bright under eye. But you know sometimes when you're going for that everyday soft natural makeup look but you want to set your makeup in place but you don't want to look really bright under the eye I would much prefer this one. So I used it today and I actually really like the way it's come out because I didn't bake today. I normally only bake if I really need to, um, but I would definitely use the no colour powder if I'm baking or if I want a bright under eye. Yes, they brought out a flesh tone one. I'm so buzzing that they did because I love the other one so much and I'm always going to continue to use it, but this is for a different purpose. So they can sit next to each other. They're sisters. They're not twins, they're sisters. Cute. Okay, this is the answer to people's prayers. This is the answer to people has prayers. So this is the RCMA Color Process Foundation Thinner. It's called a foundation thinner. I love you and I will love you for a while. I'm hoping forever. I'm hoping you serve your purpose for life. It's £10.50. You literally need a drop of this into anything that's dried out and you will love your life. Anything that's slightly dry, whether it's a brow pomade, whether it's a cream eyeshadow, whether it's a cream product, whether it's a foundation, it's so thin you literally need a drop. I'm not going to do a drop. Why would I do a drop into that? Every brow pomade drives up. I have a lot of foundations which aren't going out of date, but sometimes they dry up a little bit. I have cream eyeshadows. You know the Maybelline colour tattoo? Sometimes that gets a little bit dry. Drop one thing in this. Literally got it two days ago, and I've gone through all my cream products going, you need a little bit in there, you need a little bit in there. And I used up my brow pomade. A brow pomade just glided over my eyebrows, and I was like, okay, I'm in love with you. Also, you can choose your finish. So if you want a really thin base for anything, whether it's your foundation, whether it's anything, if you want something that's a little bit lighter this makes everything amazing put two drops on if you want it really soft if you want anything really soft With different size drops you can alter the finish of anything like i can't well done rcma i love you rcma have really good products well i only have three of their products but oh oh also i used it earlier i used the soap and glory cat eyeliner pen it was a little bit dry on the nib nib it was a little bit dry on the knob no it's not the knob is it was it it's a little bit dry on the tip I do worry about myself sometimes. My mum's calling me. You know yeah. you you. Say hello to the Hans. Hi Hans, we're off now. Love you. Okay, love you. Bye angels. Oh my god, have an amazing holiday. Oh, thank you, darling. I love you. I love you too. I'll miss you. Oh my god, have a safe flight. Can you let me know when you get there? You know I love you so much. Love you. Bye okay. angel. Bye. Bye everyone. Love you. Bye, bye, bye. My mum and my family are going on holiday. That's so cute. I want to stay in England so I could do some YouTube videos. Where shall we go next? I know where we'll go next. We will go to these. I think I found my favourite lashes. Not only are they called unicorn lashes they were made for us huns had to try them unicorn lashes also for my huns out there they're vegan friendly and cruelty free the packaging is so cute but not just that the lashes are amazing ones i'm wearing right now are 10 pounds but i love them because they're so fluttery and girly these ones are a bit fuller these are bambi and these ones go thinner to thicker so they're more like for a night out these are a night out one these ones are called cosmic pegasus love the names pegasus were 23 pounds the bambi ones i would wear on a night out were 23 pounds can you see them they're just really fluttery and I like them when they have gaps in between because I feel like they make them look more natural, even though they're long. These ones are Bambi. They go out at the end. They're really pretty and Bambi-like, like doe-eyed and cute. And the ones I'm wearing today are Unicorn Flutter, and they were £10. And honestly, really lightweight. I feel like I'm not wearing any lashes. But then when I look in the mirror, I'm like, 
Yes, okay. These ones are really natural glam. My friend said she used them 15 times, they're still good to go. On the website it says you can use them up to 20 times. I'm gonna try and do 23. Don't know why 23, actually I'll do 24 for my age. I know they're expensive, but if you get that many wears out of them, then it's worth it. Sometimes I buy stuff from the drugstore and they're like six pounds. I can wear them twice. If you think about it, that's three pound each time. If these ones are 23 pounds, you get 23 wears out of them, that's one pound. And I feel like these are much better than drugstore because I feel like they're a bit more extra. I feel like it's hard in the drugstore to find good lashes. You can wear on a night out that are thick and full. These are so wispy and dainty and pretty and you just feel like a little doll. I love them. I love them. Before we go on to palettes, let's start with this. So if you watch my tutorial just gone, yeah it was just gone, <laughs> I used one of these and I used the yellow one. This is the, oh this is broken. No it's not but I just tried to break it apparently. This is the Sugar Pill eyeshadow pan and it is the shade Kim Chai. This is like a really nice aqua colour. It actually matches my walls. I just think it's so nice for summer. I also think I'm going to use it under my waterline and I just think it'll make my eyes pop. But this was £8 and look how big it is. Like these are big, they're like that. Like that. Which are actually quite big for an eyeshadow really. And for £8 you get a lot of it. I'll show you how pigmented these are. That's just one swipe. Oh my god these are so nice. So nice. I want to get all the colours. They have really bright colours as well. And I like the fact the pan's big. Got an itchy nose. You don't got a really itchy nose. I don't need any more eyeshadows because apparently I've bought every palette in the world. Well actually I definitely have them. And they're really pigmented, they're really easy to blend, they stay on all day, they don't like crease and go all bitty, they're just amazing. Really, really like sugar pill. So again, they're vegan friendly. I just thought I'd say that, I'm just pointing that one out there because it says it on the website and I thought yeah I'll just let my vegan hands know, do you know what I mean? Oh there's a little bit more cookie. Have that one. I've got to tell you this story right Hans while I just wipe this off my hand. Basically last night I had to go to the corner shop to get some stuff for <clears throat> girly bits, you know what I mean? Girly bits, you know what I mean. You do know what I mean. My period. Why did you shout it out? I didn't shout it out, I whispered. Anyway, I went to the news agent on the corner and he didn't have any and I was like oh no. So I went to Tesco. When I walked past I had a Tesco bag and I actually felt bad. Like he was standing outside his corner shop and I actually felt bad. I was like oh my god. He's gonna say I've got a Tesco bag and I didn't spend the money in his shop. But Hun, if he didn't stop the thing, he didn't stop the thing. Do you know what I mean? That's me, like I actually feel bad that I didn't go to a shop even though he didn't have the product. Like what are you gonna do, Imogen? Go in and buy what? Like, do you know what I mean? I'm so silly. We have four palettes, Huns. Four palettes! Yay! Let me get the prices up for my humbuns. Pretty hurt, shine a light on whatever's worse. Perfection is a disease of a nation. Pretty hurts, pretty hurts. Pretty hurt. Trying to fix something, but you can't fix what you can't see. It's a soul that needs a surgery. Okay, hun, so this one is the Morphe. Let me hide my eyes, because otherwise my eyes popping over the top. This one is the Morphe 25A Copper Spice Eyeshadow Palette. And you see it? So I've tried three palettes from Morphe before. I've never tried the 25A ones. I've tried the 35s, not the 25s. I've got this on my eyes today. Can you see it? I've actually mixed these two together today. I used this one as my transition. I used this one in my crease, and then I used one from the other palette in my crease as well, and I used this one for my lid. Morphe are amazing with their eyeshadows. They're so pigmented. Let me pick up this, should I pick up this gold? Yeah, let me pick up this gold. You see that? It's so pigmented. It's £19.50 for 25 shades, but for 25 shades that I'm gonna use, it's got the warm tones, it's got the cooler tones, it's got the browns, it's got the darks, it's got the black, it's got the smoky eye. I can do anything I want with this palette. Not anything I want because I'm not that good at makeup, but I will try. And then you've got all these sparkly pigmented shades. I love Morphe eyeshadows, they blend out so well, they blend together well. Obviously I'm not the most amazing judge, but I really like them. If Jaclyn Hill can make a palette with Morphe, she knows. She knows that they're amazing. If I'm just having a day where I just don't want much in my crease, I'm just gonna put like a little brown to go with my bronzer. Just make me look natural, still have a little flush look. There, pop a colour in the crease, there you go, done. Ah, ah, ah. This one is insane. This is the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette. It's 28 pounds, but I promise you, I think it is the world's most pigmented eyeshadow palette I've ever seen in my life. Juvia's Place, where do they come from? I swear in my life, I didn't know who they were. I've never heard of Juvia's Place, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm so glad I found them. Is it Juvia's? I Why was I calling it Juvia's? <laughs> okay, so I didn't know who Juvia's Place was because they weren't even a thing, but Juvia's Place, Wow. I need to show you. Which colour should I show you? I'll show you this blue. Can you see that? Look how pigmented it is. Let me get the green up. Green. You see that one? Gold. Can you see that one? Of course you can. What about that? What about that? How nice would that be for a highlighter? These are the most pigmented things you will ever see in your whole life. And the packaging's beautiful. My brother studied ancient Greek mythology so I thought well, definitely wasn't for him, I bought these for me, but he'll like the packaging anyway, he'll like the packaging. You can use these for everything. You've got matte shadows, you've got the, oh my god, I'm obsessed. I use this one over here, just chilling, 
Just a little pop of colour, you know, just a little pop there. Two more palettes on, so let's start with this one. So this is the Zoeva Nude Spectrum Blush Palette. I always have pink blush on. Sometimes when I do a different eye makeup look, I just wanted a palette where I have cooler toned blushes, because I always use pink blushes. There's two pigmented ones with a little bit of sparkling, which I think will look so nice. You know when you want that summer bronze look? I mixed this one and this one today. I actually think it looks really nice over the top of the uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal Contour there. Wee. You get four different colours here. £15 for four blushes. I don't think that's that bad. I also love the packaging. So it's really simple and plain and just cool and like I can take this everywhere and it's really light. I picked up a pink blush set too, I'm not going to lie to you, but I wanted these ones because you've got two that have a little bit of shimmer in them and then these two you can either use to contour or just have going into your contour. Yes, look at it. Look how bright they are. Look how bright these blushes are. This one's £18.15, this is the 9B blushed, this is the 9B blushed but this is the 9B blushed blush palette. <laughs> Couldn't get it out. I've had to say that like four times. But this is the Morphe 9B blushed. Don't try and say it again, but you know what I mean. So this is £18.50, but look at them. You can not only use these as blushes, but you can use these as eyeshadows as well. Because they don't do really bright pink sometimes eyeshadows, but these look amazing. Look at that red over there. That red just chilling. I'm so excited. I might use a little bit now. No, I've got brown on. <laughs> I'm not going to use these now. But I'm so excited to use these. I'm so excited. I love palettes. I really like palettes. I think I'm getting a little bit addicted to palettes. Morphe are just amazing. They make good value for money palettes. I get a lot in there. How many do I get in there? Nine. Obviously, it's the 9B palette, Imogen. Well done. Moving swiftly on. Five matte lip creams. Ah. So this is the colour that I've got on today, and this is called Ginger Snap, and this is by Beauty Bakery, and this was £16. When I got these two days ago, I did swatches on my hands. I did all swatches of five of them. The Beauty Bakery ones would not budge for Jack, for no one. My dad always says Jack. Jack monkey, Jack nothing. I don't know why he always says that, so I just said it. But this wouldn't shift for Jack. This wouldn't shift for Han. This wouldn't shift for any Han. Like, this would not shift for any Han. Not anyone, any hurt. I like that. I think it's a really nice colour with the look I've gone for today. Don't know about you, but I love ginger hair, so I had to get next. It's called Ginger Snap. I love ginger hair. If I could dye my hair any colour, it'd be ginger. I think it made my eyes go pop, pop. But yeah, this is £16. Oh my god, it's matte. It is matte. I don't know if you can see, but when I was doing my makeup earlier, I swatched it and I was literally going like, couldn't get it off. So if you are going to take your makeup off, make sure you're scrubbing your lips. And this apparently is kissable. It's not coming off for anyone. Should probably go and test it out, shouldn't I? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I also got another one from Beauty Bakery. I have to explain to you now as well. I love the packaging. I didn't know it was going to come in this packaging, but I'm obsessed with this packaging. It says smudge free liquid matte lipstick. Well, it definitely is smudge free. I'll tell you about that one. But it says Beauty Bakery. And then on the side, it says, oh remove with our oil based lip whip remover it says it on the side oh, i'm just going to remove it with my oil then my micellar oil okay fine thanks for letting me know humbuns thanks for letting me know it says don't leave your lips unwhipped love that nutrition facts one sweetie per serving vegan no calories and all sweet i'm like that is so cute they've got so many different colors as well i really wanted that color the mon Cherry. i really wanted it because it's like a really pinky red love pinky reds it looks like the perfect red but it's in stock now it's in stock now Oh, that's really bad, isn't it? That's really tempting. It's right in front of me. But I really wanted it, but it was out of stock. So, I went for Ginger Snap, and then I went for this one. So this one is... Oh. Oh. This is Mon Cherie. <laughs> Don't even know what goes on in my head. It was in stock. <laughs> butterfly like on paper i did really well in school i worked hard i promise you my common sense what is it it's gone it's because i've got so many happy thoughts in my head i think i'm just scatterbrain i'm a scatterbrain oh, i did get mon cherry oh, should i swatch it on my hand oh should i swatch ginger snap as well okay so this one's ginger snap but i've got it on my lips i don't need to swatch it anyway this one is mon cherry which i ended up actually getting this is like a pinky deep reddish i really like it if you want a matte lip that will not move you can go for dinner you can eat i've been eating all day there's two different applicators but on the ginger snap one i really like the applicator don't know whether it's the new applicator or the old applicator but it's like a heart shaped applicator and it's really easy to get like right in there and round it's really nice i like that one this is the next one i wanted a really dark brown because i'm gonna try a nice little dark brown lip it might make my eyes look nice it might make me look silly but i'm gonna try it i do like a dark lip so this one's a very dark lip so this is called chocolate wasted love the name i would never waste any chocolate although i can't have dairy chocolate but i have my own kind of chocolate but you know so this is 16 pounds i'm gonna swatch this one for you there did that even come out no it didn't thank you i've got face wipe on there so i'm gonna have to go to the side there i'm just all over the shop aren't i so it's a really dark brown you see that oh yeah chilling chill 
in. I got some really good matte lipsticks. Delta Color lipsticks are meant to be amazing, so I'm really excited to try that one. I'm definitely gonna do first impressions of the things I haven't tried, by the way. Like, if you want me to do any makeup looks with any of the stuff, like first impressions, I won't use any of it. Oh, wait, I have used some things, but I've told you about the, the things that I have used. Okay, so this is the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Matte Lip Cream, and it's called Mile High. And this is £9.50. It's a really soft, sort of lilac y colour, I'd say. Mauve, pink, nude, don't know, but it looks really nice. You see that one? Really pretty. What would I put on my cheeks and stuff for this? I'm sure there's a blusher in there that I can team with this. I like to match. Obviously, as you can tell, I've got a kind of orangey, dark brown lip. I went for the browns on the cheeks here, and then I went for a little cut crease with an orangey brown thing. I like to have a little match. I like to have match. I just like to match, sorry. And last, but by no means least, I love Michael Finch, right? Michael Finch, he's so funny. And he's an Australian YouTuber. He's amazing. Right, I don't know what's happening to my Australian accent. Come back to me now. How are ya? Gonna go back to my normal accent. I watched a YouTube video of Michael Finch and he used this and it was really nude and light but not too concealer like. You know sometimes you get those nudes, nearly whacked myself in the face. You know sometimes you get those nudes, it sounds funny saying nudes, but you get nude matte lipsticks and they can just go into every crease and they look like concealer. This one I tried on earlier, it doesn't. It's amazing and it looked amazing on his makeup tutorial and I was like, I need to get it. It was £10.50. This is actually cheaper than some of the other ones and it's bigger. And I have got four of the other shades of the Morphe liquid lipsticks and I love them. I love them. They are so hydrating on your lips. You know, I've got dry lips. I always go on about it. I do have dry lips. These ones don't dry my lips out. Only do I love the colour. Morphe liquid lipsticks. If I can recommend any of the ones out of here, obviously the Beauty Bakery ones are the best ones for lasting, and I haven't tried the other two. But this one, I love the other ones I have, so I know it's going to be a good one because I love the other ones I have. It's a really soft, kind of nudie pink. I'm so excited to wear this. Look at it. I love it. I'm so excited. We've done it. Should I pop it all back in the box? I'll pop it all back in the box. My little hun buns, my little pony. Ah. If you want me to do more hauls, then let's not tell dad. Let's not tell Ben's a lad. Let's not tell dad. Let's just do these videos. I mean, he's obviously going to see them, but you yeah, know what I mean. But if you do like me doing hauls, please give it a massive thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I'd be so grateful. But that leads me on to the giveaway. The giveaway is announced and my meetup is announced right about now. Sit down now. Is that a good accent? I've been trying. Sit down now. Change the subject to my journal. Last night, I couldn't go to sleep. I literally went to sleep at like 5 36 in the morning and then the doorbell went off this morning at 8 a.m. and it was the postman. I was like, oh, hello. You know, you can't even open your eyes. Basically, I couldn't sleep because I was worrying about doing this video because I was thinking five people are winning my giveaway, which is just amazing. But I get all sad because I think I wish all of you could win the giveaway. Like, I wish I could pay for all of you to come down to Brighton and see me. Honestly, if I had the money, I promise you I would ship you all here, wherever you live. If you're in Alabama, wherever you are in the world, I would ship you to come see me. I was going through every single comment and I was getting upset that I couldn't even love heart them all because I was getting lost amongst them and I was like, I've got to pick five and I can't even love heart them all and I'm getting stressed about that. What's wrong with me? It's because I care so much. I think it's better to be this way because I'm really caring. It was so hard for me, so I literally just chose it random. Honestly, I love you all so much. All of you, I love equally. I'm obsessed with all of you. So we're gonna do this meetup on Wednesday the 23rd. And if the five people that win, I'm so excited for you and I really hope you like this giveaway idea. For anyone that didn't win, please feel free to come to Brighton and see me. It's an open meetup. It's on the 23rd of August. I'm gonna do timings and everything like that next week. If you can't come, I completely understand. She just went like this, I completely understand. Anyone wants to come to the meetup, please feel free. Obviously, if you didn't win, I'm so sorry. It doesn't mean I don't love you because I love you all so much. And like I said in the last video, my dad is thinking of doing a Hudson tour. He's not even thinking of it. He's planning it. He's like, we'll get banners for the side of the car. I'm like, dad, it's not an X Factor tour. He's like, it's a Hudson tour. He loves it. So he wants to drive around and go to different cities and see all of you, which is so exciting. So please don't feel sad because if you didn't win it, honestly, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And if you did win it, I love you. And if you can come on the 23rd, I love you. If you can't come on the 23rd, I love you. You get the gist. Okay, so the five winners are Taya from Bath, Kaylee Brown, Liana Charlotte, Grace Lincoln, or Linkhorn. I think I said it right. And fifth winner is Jasmine Lee. Next week, I'll give you more details about the 23rd in case anyone does actually want to come down. We'll just have a chill day. We'll go for a Starbucks. We'll sit down. We'll mingle. My brothers will be there. My dad will be there. It'll be so nice. It'll just be so lovely. And I'll vlog it. If you don't want to get on the vlog, then don't worry. Of course, that's completely fine. But still come see me, please. We can have little chin wags. We can have catch ups. We can have story times. I can't wait. I just want to say a massive thank you for anyone that actually thought this giveaway was good. I want to meet you all all the time. So for all of you to write in our little beehive section, because we're honeybees, and actually enter this giveaway, then I'm just so grateful. So next week, we'll do all the talking about that. But guess what I've got coming up on Sunday? I have got my Broken Friendships Part 2. For anyone that watched my Broken Friendships Part 1, which was a story time about not very nice girls, 
<laughs> not very nice Hans at all. No, they're not Hans. They are definitely not Hans. I'll link it below if you didn't watch it, but my part two is coming up on Sunday, so I really hope you like that one as well. I can't wait. Some of you messaged me like, I want part two, and I'm like, part two is coming, I promise. And I'll also let you know all next week more about the 23rd. <gasps> I can't wait to meet some of you. I'm so excited. It's a joke, honestly. Maybe that's why I couldn't sleep last night, because I was excited to tell you all. <gasps> I feel like a kid at Christmas. I love it. If you're new to my channel, I play this game where I do a miming game, and you just have to guess the song that I'm miming. Well, listen, I did this haul the other day of Zoella's Beauty Ray. Oh my god. I didn't even know what I was doing because apparently I didn't even cut out the song. I was playing the miming game with the song still playing. Am I okay? You all messaged me and I was like, oh my god. I was going like this, miming the song while the song's playing and you can hear it. Oh, so let's mime a song and you can guess that one and I promise you I'll get rid of the audio. <laughs> just because this song has girls as title, by the way, it doesn't mean it's just for girls because it's for my hun. This song is for my huns. I love you all so much. Also, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I did a wing liner. Is it okay? Let me know. It's not gonna be amazing, but it's a try. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, put yourself up and try again. Dust yourself up and try again, try again. If you follow me on Snapchat, you will know that sometimes when I don't sleep, I'm up at about three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning doing wing liner. My friend Lucy has to deal with me sending WhatsApps to her at like three o'clock in the morning, like, do you think this wing's good? Do you think this wing line is good? I have to do a shout out for Lucy today because, oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Like I cried when you told me, but she's got an amazing job. I'm so proud of her, an inspiration to me. She's so intelligent, she's so wonderful. She's got the most beautiful heart. I'm so lucky to have her in my life. So I have a shout out to my beautiful Elizabeth. She sent me a beautiful letter. I'm so grateful that any of you even write to me. Like that's just crazy. You're just amazing Elizabeth. So the shout outs to you. Thanks for your beautiful letter, I love you. And to all my hun buns out there, I love you so much. I hope you still love me even if you didn't win the giveaway angels okay well until next time hum burns i hope you like this haul as well <gasps> until next time angels i'm gonna love did i just go i'm gonna love you i can do that i'm gonna love you and i'm gonna leave you we can go with that one we can go with that one i love you so much am i missing something for my neck do you think i should have worn a choker shouldn't i or is it nice sometimes when you just got it open like that it's done now filmed a whole video didn't i okay